Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in Augusta, Georgia with the First Amendment Protection Agency. And once again, he puts his own ignorance on display for everybody to enjoy as he gets trespassed off of private property open to the public. You know, that kind of thing. Oh, pardon me, trespassed and arrested off of a plaza that is privately owned, open to the public. My oh my, is there no end to this buffoon stupidity. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. We also have a uh, insurance agency office here. Auto, home, business, and life insurance. Oh, you want to call other people uneducated. Well, uh, having watched that uh, live stream debate that you had with Fraud or Troll, I would say that you are definitely one of the most uneducated people out there. And I'm not just talking about frauders, I'm talking about the population as a whole. When you declare that you know pretty much everything, like you did on that uh, debate, you will pretty much set yourself up for failure every single time. Well, to put it quite simply for even a moron like you, the smarter you think you are, the dumber you actually are. Because a truly intelligent individual realizes their limitations as far as their knowledge goes and realizes that they will never be able to acquire all knowledge within their lifetime because, well, there's just so much of it anyway. You are on the opposite end of the, end of the spectrum, boy. You know nothing, but you think you know everything. Insurance agency. How you doing? How you doing? Doing fantastic. How about yourself? Who are you with? I'm sorry? What are you doing? What am I doing? Recording? Same thing as you. Why? Why? Why are you recording? Because <laughs> you look weird. I look weird? Do I look weird? Well, not only do you look creepy, you uh, look like a douchebag. And look at those teeth. Uh, if you had that much money to spend on that uh, Corvette, why the hell didn't you use that money on your teeth? I mean, get those things fixed. I mean, come on now. You look creepy. I look creepy. Why do I look creepy? Who are you with? Why are you... I'm out here by myself. I don't know if you can see that, but... You work for some entity or something? No. Okay, awesome. Uh, that was not my editing. That was his editing. He jumps from one segment to the other and says that she's about to be in tears. What the hell did you say to her in that missing period of time, boy? I mean, what caused you, her to be in tears to begin with? I know it wasn't just the filming, you douchebag. A little longer than a few minutes later. Let's see what uh let's see what happens now. What is your name? I'm sorry? What is your name? I'm not the way you're acting right now, I'm not gonna give that to you. Okay. okay. But how tall are you? I'm sorry? How tall are you? Like six eight. I didn't know they stacked shit that high. You trying to squeeze an inch in on me somewhere, huh? Okay. He's six eight. Five minutes later. Hey, just out of curiosity, you guys have a no filming policy inside the building or no? Uh, personally, you cannot use my reproduction. Oh no, personally I can. So you're just gonna leave the building unattended? Can I go in? No sir, you cannot go in that office. Why is that? I refuse you to go into that office. Why? I refuse your business. I know, I had saying why. Why are you harassing people? I'm not. You are by am just I raising... taking my video. Oh, I am? What is wrong with you? 
I'm sorry, man, but uh, you'll have to forgive him. He was dropped on his head as a child, and therefore he uh, has become a narcissistic, uneducated jackass who thinks that the world owes him something. Uh, yeah, he's that kind of person. So you'll have to excuse his behavior because he's uh, too much of a moron to know any better. I'm trying to have a conversation. You're, you're, maybe you're not understanding You're not asking me. for a conversation. You're harassing me. Well, you came out here looking for a conversation. I could have been done. What's up, brother? How you doing? How you doing, man? I'm hanging in there like a hair and a biscuit, man. What Absolutely. For you? No, nothing. I'm good. I'm Thank you, though. Yeah. I'm upset. What are you videoing for? You can put whatever reason you want to it, man. He wants to do tricks? If, if you know any. What what cool tricks you got? Well, actually, there's this cool trick where you can come in here and find out if you're qualified for the Marine Corps, you know? It's more of a trick for you, but... Yeah. I'm not really a, not really a military guy. No, yeah, I wouldn't want to. Yeah, I don't think you'll survive the Marine Corps. You'll probably sprain your little ankle on the first day and uh, complain about a broken leg or something like that and be on the holdover uh, for a few months before you go home. I mean, yeah, I see you as that kind of person. I mean, you're just too much of a weak-minded individual to begin with. So you can just forget about it and... Uh, that spot can be reserved some, for somebody who actually has the integrity to uh, be a Marine and pass all the training and everything like that. I mean, you're just not cut out for any military uh, careers. What do you say? So I'm not really, not really a military guy as of right now. Could change in the future, though. Yeah. I actually, actually just had knee surgery not long ago, two of them. So. Like ACL or what? Uh, uh, meniscus. Oh, okay. Yeah. I put a pretty young man in about a year ago. Really? Yep. He's a Marine today. That's cool. So what do you want to do? I'm just chilling here for right now. No, I mean for like a job. Oh, this this is it. Like videography? Yep. Gotcha. It's yes, sir. in the Marine Corps, man. Just... I know. I heard. I actually had somebody come out here and tell me the same thing. Sergeant Corgi, probably one of my dudes. He was in the sunglasses and the black sweatshirt. Yeah, real handsome. Khaki yeah. pants. Real handsome. More yeah. handsome than me, man. Gotcha. All right. What was your name? Staff Sergeant Williams. Staff Sergeant Williams. Yeah. Well, thank you for your service, sir. Yeah, I appreciate support, it. Man. For sure. For sure. Yeah, uh, you say that now, but here in a few minutes, you most certainly will be disrespecting him. So let's go ahead and skip to that part because, well, the police show up around that time anyway. Fifteen minutes later. Hey, you want to know something? What's up? She just came out here and yeah. was recording me, and then she went inside and cried. Yeah. Like, yeah, dude, you mean, you're kind of, you're aggravating her, brother. Leave her alone. How so? You're standing there video her, man. She came out here and did the same thing and then wants to go in and cry yeah, some it, crocodile she's tears. To, she's trying to prove the point. Man. Yeah, well, it's not working. <laughs> it's, I know, it didn't work you're very just well. You're standing out here trying to get a rise out of somebody. Like, if that's what you're using. Didn't I already to, say no? You're, well, this is obviously what you're trying to do. Well, then why even ask a question See, if you think you already know the answer? You're being argumentative. Your whole purpose behind your YouTube is for you to get a rise out of somebody while videoing? You're shaking your head, yes, right? So, yes? Well, no, I'm, I'm listening to you. Okay, this. so what's the purpose of your YouTube? Or whatever platform it is you're doing. I'm not on a what platform. are you doing? Okay, uh, you're not on a platform. Well, once again, you have proven yourself to be a liar, like uh, Sean did on uh, that debate the other day. That you are very much a freaking liar. But you know what they say: you got a lie to fraud it, and you are most certainly one of the biggest liars out there, and that's proven time and time again. If if. You, it doesn't seem like you actually want to have a conversation, so. I do, I'm asking you a question. No, no, you're being argumentative. Sure. I can have a conversation, dude. What, no, what, I'm good. What I'm not, well, I'm not going to have a conversation with you. Okay, well, enjoy whatever you're doing. I will. Just leave the old lady alone. She's just minding her own business. Yeah, I'm going to leave you alone now. Let's play. One time. GV4595K. Ah, oh, big bad guy with a phone, huh? Military guy, scared of an iPhone 12. Told you he would be very disrespectful toward uh, this Marine. I mean, uh, but little boy, uh, that Marine could definitely 
put you on the pavement quick, fast, in a hurry. You might want to watch your mouth. But of course, your uh, smart mouth is about to get you put into a pair of shiny new bracelets here in the next few minutes. So I don't think that Marine is going to be your problem for very much longer. She's already went, I guess, been crying over there. She just wants him to leave, and he's here with the camera. So that's it. Okay. I've asked him some questions. But I think this guy's been something. crying a little bit, too. Probably went back in his office and pouted a bit. Yeah, take it easy, big guy. Go back to work. Are you stupid or something? Hey, this guy has a camera. Be careful. This guy's got a body cam going. Hey, can I just ask name and badge number just so I know who came out? Yeah, sure. I'll talk to you in a minute. Fair enough. No, I'm good. Okay. I'm good. Uh, here, maybe, maybe if you want to no, figure out maybe how to not. get a roll Maybe job. not. You can figure out how to get a roll job. Okay, buddy. Go back in and be scared of phones. Go cry. Yeah, no, you are, dude. You were just crying to the cop like she is. I had mad, yeah, I had mad respect for you the first time you came out, but now it's pretty much gone. Good job. Yeah. Pound sand, buddy. Yeah, uh... I thought you wouldn't last the first day uh, in the Marine Corps. Uh, from what I've seen here, uh, I don't think you'd make it past MEPS. Three hours later. Can you move it along? I'm all out of time cards. I had much, much respect. Sir, will you please leave this area? No. If she asks you to leave this property, you need to leave. Yeah, no, this is definitely a public area, guy. This is, this is private property. No, it's not. This yeah. is a public yeah. shopping area. No, 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 no it absolutely it's all, is. It's all Dude, other frauditors have been educated on this. You might want to educate yourself on this because, well, other frauditors like JC News Now have fallen for the same trap thinking that this is kind of thing is a... Uh, public property or something like that when it is actually privately owned open to the public kind of deal so therefore the tenants can trespass you you freaking dumbass no no no, no. I, yes it is a private business that's why exactly. i haven't entered yeah exactly right so this is also owned by no it's business. not no it's not Please. no it's it's not write me a formal trespass then okay all right yeah i'll do that perfect all right so all right so my name's deputy pro my computer number is C as in Charles, 918. Okay. All right. Um, do you have your ID on you? No, I'm not giving it to you. Okay. Well, I need your information for a criminal trespass. No. Okay. So are you refusing to identify yourself for Absolutely. a criminal trespass? It's not a criminal trespass. What law have I, if, what law have I broken? If she asks you to leave. Right. Okay. So criminal trespass is the law. Yeah. Right. Okay. So if she asks you to leave. You okay. Where was I? Leave where? The property right here. This this isn't their property. I'm afraid it, it is. property. Okay, ma'am, I'm I'm done with the crocodile tears. I no longer want to talk so to you. So this is her property. No, it's not. It is. If no, she asks you to leave, they need to leave the property. Okay. This is not public property. Okay. It is private property. Alright, perfect. So you need to go over there. Alright. Now. No, I'm not gonna move. Alright, cool. You you wanna involve <laughs> yourself with this. I'm 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 gonna give you an opportunity right now. This is what you wanna do? This is exactly what okay, I want. Okay, perfect. Do you want to come grab this? Or do you know him? Are y'all together? Do you know him? I don't need to say anything. Okay, all right. Well, let me get this other hand. All right, you want to pass come it take it. this one? Sure. And there you go. That's going to be the thumbnail for my video right here. I just need to think of a title, but I'll think of that after I uh, finish up with this video. Okay. This is wallet and charger. Yeah, okay. in his pocket. I don't, he didn't feel like no, he had anything else on. No him, keys. So. He didn't have keys on him. I didn't feel any keys. In okay. His pockets, okay. So. so is he going somewhere? Yes, he's going to jail. Well, well, yeah, he's going to jail because he's too stupid to figure out trespassing laws or basic property laws. I mean, uh, he thinks he knows everything. He thinks he's hot shit. But you know what? He's just another young punk moron who, well, probably will never learn. 
I don't think he'll be anything like Big Wes because at least he saw the light fairly quickly. I mean, his first arrest, he began to see the light, but what really got him out of the game was, well, the uh, issue with the prison audit that went horribly wrong for him and the other frauditor. And, uh, well, that that's an entirely different story right there. And Big Wes decided to just... Uh, get out of the YouTube game altogether and uh, start his own businesses to see where he could go with his life. Uh, good for him, but as far as this guy, I don't think he's going to go anywhere in life with this attitude. So at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one. Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's- Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that?